So today we're going to be looking at finding all solutions of this equation here, x had 4 log x squared, which makes things slightly more complicated, equals 6. We're going to do it by two methods. The first method gets all three solutions, and the second method, if you're not careful, misses two of the three solutions. So let's go. And by the way, if I'm going too quick on this, please take a look at the uh, simple guide to the Lambert W function graph, which is a video, the link to which is in the description to this video. Okay, so let's go here. Um, let's Let's take uh, 6 minus x, we can get here log x squared equals 6 minus x over 4, which equals 3 over 2 minus x over 4. Um, and therefore, uh, raising to the e, we get e to the log x squared equals e to the 3 over 2 minus x over 4, which equals e to the 3 over 2 times e to the minus x over 4 and of course e to the log of anything just equals the anything so we have x squared equals e to the 3 over 2 times e to the minus x over 4 and remember we're trying to get it into the form z e to the z equals a for some constant a okay so we clearly have to get the e to the minus x over 4 on the other side so that gives us x squared e to the x over 4 equals e to the 3 over 2. OK, um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take the square root uh, in order to um, get the x squared and the x's the same. So we're going to have x e, well, the square root of e to the x over 4 is e to the x over 8 equals plus or minus, that's quite important, that e to the 3 quarters. Um, and therefore, we have, now we've already got two, sorry, we've got to divide by 8. And now we have the form x over 8 e to the x over 8, i.e. z e to the z equals a so we can read off our solutions we either have x equals 8 w e to the three quarters over 8 or we have x equals 8 w minus e to the three quarters over 8. Now this solution here gives us one solution where uh, x is approximately 1.70966 because w of e to the 3 quarters over 8 from an online calculator gives 0 0.213707. So there is one solution. And here we get two solutions. And if you don't know why we get two solutions, please watch the video Simple Guide to the uh, Lambert W Function because this is between... 0 and minus 1 over e, we get two solutions, and the two solutions are w0 and w minus 1. So we either have the w0 solution is x is approximately minus 3.13112, and the w minus 1 solution uh, is x is approximately minus 16.357. Five. And they are our three solutions coming from uh, W0 and W minus 1 here and just W0 here. Okay, so let's just have a look at the graph of this and then we're going to do a second method. So here's the graph here. Uh, and we can see uh, here is the line here, uh, y equals 6. And this is uh, x plus 4 log x squared. And we can see that there are three crossing points which are at our three values 1.70 approximately minus 3.13 approximately and minus 16 point whatever it was 35 so there are our three values so we get all three solutions now a way that some people might do this which has the risk of not getting all three solutions let's go right back to the start so we have x add 4 log x squared equals 6. Now what some people will do is they'll take the 2 out there and they'll go, okay, well that's x add 8 log x equals 6 and then they go 8 log x equals 6 minus x i.e. log x equals 3 quarters minus x over 8 then we raise to the power and we get that x equals e to the 3 quarters times e to the minus x over 8 again taking it across now we get x e to the x over 8 equals e to the 3 quarters and then when we divide by 8 to get it in our Lambert W function uh, we can now say okay well x equals 8 w 
e to the three quarters over eight. And we do have one of the solutions, but the problem is, is hang on a sec, where have the other two solutions gone? Well, the reason why is that what we should have done is we should have said, well, hang on a sec, it's eight log mod x. So the log mod x should have been in there, i.e. log mod x should have been in there, i.e. mod x is in there, i.e. x. So from here, we would get that x equals either plus or minus e to the three quarters over eight. And then from here, we would have our mod x, just to clarify this, mod x e to the x over eight over eight, we would get this e to the three quarters over eight if we use the mod. And from that, we either say, okay, x over eight e to the x over eight equals plus e to the three quarters over eight or x over eight e to the x over eight equals minus e to the three quarters over eight. And then we're back exactly where we were up here and we get our three solutions. So just be careful um, when you're dealing with an equation like this because it's so easy just to take the two out and keep the x in and, and forget about the mod. And you do get one right answer, but you only get this one. Okay, well, I hope that's um, avoided a trap or clarified something for you. If it has, uh, please like this video and subscribe to the Gressy Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.